If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. When creating invoices, you sometimes have different categories of charges like billable expenses or billable time. To group and subtotal by these charge categories or by dates within your invoices, Create a new invoice form style that applies grouping and or subtotals by clicking the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Custom Form Styles link under the Your Company heading in the drop-down menu to open the Custom Form Styles page. Then click the New Style button in the upper right corner of the page. Then select the Invoice choice from the drop-down menu that appears to open a Design section in the New Invoice Style page where you can choose the basic design of the form. Type a name for the new invoice into the field at the top left side of the page if needed. To select the form's template, click the Dive in with a template or Change up the template link to display the template styles. Then click the template you prefer to show it in the preview at the right side of the page. If needed to change the logo, click the Make Logo Edits link. Then click the plus sign button in the logo area that appears to select a new logo to upload. You can select a size and placement for the logo by clicking the choice you prefer in the Size and Placement sections. You can also click the Hide Logo link to hide the logo if desired. To choose a different color, click the Splash on some color or Try other colors link and then click a color to use. To change the fonts, click the Get Choosy with your font or select a different font link and then use the two drop downs to select a font and font size to use. To edit the margin size, click the When in Doubt Print it Out or Edit Print Settings link and then enter the page margins you prefer. You can also check the Fit to Window Envelope, Include Payment Stub, and or the Use Letterhead Paper checkboxes here if you want to enable those options. Then click the Content link at the top of the page to show the different content sections in the invoice in the preview area to the right. Each section appears with a white pencil icon in its upper right corner that you can click to edit the content of that section. Here is where you need to enable the grouping and subtotaling options for the line item section of the invoice. Click the white pencil icon in the upper right corner of the line item section of the invoice at the right side of the screen. This is the middle section of the three sections shown. To the left, an activity table appears and shows its columns and an edit labels and widths label. Below this, Click the Show More Activity Options link to show advanced activity options for grouping and subtotaling in a new section. To apply grouping and subtotaling to line items, check the Group Activity By checkbox in this section and then select an option to use to group the activities. The drop-down list contains day, week, month, and type options. To subtotal each group, Check the Subtotal Groups checkbox that appears after selecting a choice from the Group Activity By checkbox's drop-down menu. If grouping by one of the date options for day, week, or month, you must enter a service date for each line item in your invoice. If you don't, QuickBooks Online Plus shows all separate detail lines as occurring on the invoice date and will not list separate groups or subtotals. If grouping by a date option, you must also ensure that the Date checkbox is checked in the Columns section directly above the More Activity Options section. Likewise, if grouping by type, you must enter at least two different types of items in the invoice to create subtotals. The types are Charges, Billable Expenses, and Billable Time. In QuickBooks Online Plus, all products and services are of the Charges type. If you don't list at least two different types of items, charges, billable expenses, or billable time in the invoice, it will not recognize different types of items and will not group or subtotal. If you have multiple activity rows with the same description and rate, you can check the Collapse Activity Rows checkbox to hide the details of those items in a group. After making your selections in the Activity Table section, you can click the Preview PDF button at the bottom of the page to preview how the invoice will appear in a separate window or tab, which you can close when finished. 
You can also make any other changes you want to the invoice by using the other options in this page. After making all the changes you want to the invoice, click the Done button in the lower right corner of the window to save it. You are then returned to the Custom Form Styles page and can see the new form style in the list. If you only use the form style periodically, you can simply use the Customize button at the bottom of the invoice window when creating new invoices to apply the style. Clicking the Customize button shows the list of custom form styles. Simply click the style to use it and continue creating the invoice. It then applies the grouping and subtotaling to the line items entered in the invoice. Alternatively, if you want to use the new custom form style for the majority of your invoices, you can click the Action Columns drop-down for the form style in the Custom Form Styles page, and then select the Make Default command from the drop-down menu. Doing this makes that custom form style the default form style for all future invoices. Also, as mentioned in a prior lesson, Separately from grouping by date or by type and showing subtotals over the group, you can also manually add a subtotal to an invoice for any items you add. To manually add a subtotal in an invoice, select the row above where to insert the subtotal row. Then click the Add Subtotal button in the Invoice window to add a subtotal line below the currently selected row. You can add as many subtotal lines as the invoice requires. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.